Welcome everybody. This is a quick introduction to show you the current state of our project that we will be re-implementing in the BV engine. As you can see here, uh, this is basically our map editor. Most of the game is not yet implemented. We were going ahead and implementing the, the, the map editor to support all of the features that we want to implement in the game. As of right now, uh, I think our editor is 80% complete in Unity, of course, which is not going to fly. So uh, just to show you quickly what uh, features do we have and uh, what we want to bring over, um, I will just, you know, go through it. So this is basically a type based editor, uh, similar to what you would have in in Warcraft 3 or uh, Valve's uh, Hammer Editor. Uh, you have the option to just, you know, change the terrain layout. It's a bit slow, but uh, that's because we are running in dots, actually, um, which considerably slows down the, the process. Um, but anyway, uh, it does work. And uh, uh, as you can see, even the vegetation is following along and um, it, it's all right. Um, the other thing that we can do is paint water, for instance. Uh, we can also paint path and stairs. It's a bit weird now, that, but uh, uh, you, you see where this is going. On top of that, we also support uh, painting flow maps uh, for the water, for instance. We could just have like a little stream there. I have a large river over there. Uh, we also have wind, which is kind of a flow map, but not really. Not sure how much you will see this in, after the compression uh, goes through it. And we have um, painting tools to, to paint grass, for instance, which is integrated with the vegetation uh, spawner we have. Uh, we can paint dirt, path, no, just path needs a little strength, and a base layer of rock. These aren't final assets, of course, so uh, there might be some janky things here and there, um, but you get the point. We can paint here, and if we want to put back the grass, we just you know paint it over. And this is integrated with undo and everything. So and on top of this, uh, we also support uh, um, blending between two. Uh, different uh, sets of uh, textures. I'm not sure if I have a good example of it, uh, but you can uh, if you have. It needs a little setup, but you can you can just paint it again uh, the same way. And that's pretty much it. I mean the vegetation, of course. You you can paint the vegetation. Uh, it's super simple, but. Uh, um, I don't know, grasses. You won't see much because it's the same grass. But uh, cell by cell, you can uh, swap between the, the the asset packs, basically, or the, the grass packs we have. Um, this isn't final because uh, the game will have more dynamic vegetation and wind and, and fog and everything. So this is just... Uh, for testing assets, basically, and setting up the requirements for uh, the moving parts. Um, and the, this, the other thing that's not visible is the the way we decorate ties. Uh, here, for instance, the um, the 
stairs or the logs on the stairs are part of the, the pref prefab. So it's not uh, uh, randomly spawning. Uh, but we do support uh, contextual uh, decorations like the water itself. Uh, it, this surface of water will only be spawned when when it's actually in the in a context of uh, of water. Um, we also support um, plastered uh, random props. Uh, basically, you have a spawner that spawns more things, but they are kind of randomized. Um, rotated a bit, scaled a bit, and then the children are also uh, aligned to the to the parent. And uh, you, you can create uh, nice collections. We we don't have it here because it's uh, um, wasn't that useful as we thought it would be. Um, but we'll probably uh, keep it and and uh, support it for for things that may or may not help uh, building the the levels. So it's not terribly complicated to do in any case. So that's that's it uh, for the moment. Uh, what what our tie does, as you can see, the vegetation is like super uh, optimized. Um, we actually have about 100 FPS, uh, and we are running on HDRP. So it's 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 the batch renderer, uh, the batch renderer group, uh, I believe it was called. Um, works pretty well. Difficult to set up, but uh, uh, works really well. Um, so we could squeeze out a lot of performance from it. However, uh, with Unity's most recent uh, fall from grace, let's say, or jump, um, we are we, we decided to just move. And I'm going to show you the the, the steps from the beginning. Uh, how we set up Bevy and how we are going to use it. It's not going to be a tutorial, uh, but many of the videos I plan to make uh, will involve how to set up things, you know? So um, it, it could be useful for, for you as well if you are just trying to start, trying to wrap your head around it, or if you are just curious on on how, how a game is being developed uh, by indie developers. Well, I'm not going to call myself a professional yet. This is entirely done in my free time for the moment. Um, so we are, might not be fast, but we are getting there. Anyway, that's it for this video. Uh, and uh, talk to you, or well, I'm going to talk to you. <laughs> and I hope you will listen uh, in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.